and welcome or welcome back to the Dandelion Diaries. It is currently July, so I guess that's time we do a June flip through. So last time I did all of my planners, so my health, my garden, my Hobonichi cousin, and then also my common planner, and I really liked how I could see, I guess, the subtle changes in all of them, so I wanted to share all of them again with you guys today. So if you're interested in one specific planner, be sure to check the description. Uh, I'll have timestamps for each specific one. But we'll go ahead and start with the garden planner just because it's a little bit easy. Also, I apologize for any glare. I'm not taking the clear covers off of some of these because it's just it's too much of a hassle to take them on and off all the time. So I, I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to scoot these over to the side and we'll start with this one. So starting off with my garden planner, not a whole lot happened in June except for a crap ton of rain. It rained so many days in June. I, we were endlessly with rain. And then towards the end for my temperature tracker, we finally hit hundred degrees outside, hundred degrees Fahrenheit which is really early for us. Usually we hit it in August, but we hit it in June. So yeah, I'm kind of worried how hot in July and August are going to be, but we're going to go with it as we go. And then for my monthly, this is what it ended up looking like. I just wrote down a little bit of a memory every single day, similar to how I did in my May flip through. We did end up getting eggs before the day that our chickens were supposed to get eggs, which was very exciting. So we have been getting a couple eggs a day now. They're still really small, but I'm really happy that our girls are doing really well. Moving on into the weekly section. These stickers are from Sterling Inc. I went with kind of like a pink and olive color and I really like this color scheme. It looks really nice. This week I again used the Sterling Inc. stickers. This is from her May subscription, I believe. No, June subscription. June subscription. And I ended up using more of my fountain pens in all of my planners, honestly. I was writing with them constantly. And this is when I started using the fountain pens to make the headers, actually, instead of using my brush markers. And I really like how it turned out. So this one is the Atlas Iron Ore, I believe, and it's sparkly. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but it looks really cool in person. Um, not a whole lot going on in the garden because we had so much rain and it was been incredibly hot. So it's pretty much the same tasks over and over again. Um, so nothing super exciting. And then this is the current week we are on and it's just been really hot but I did start tracking how many eggs per day we were getting just so I can see how many we're getting. We have six chickens, so I wanna make sure that all of our girls are laying and that I can keep track of how many eggs we're getting a day. Moving on into the back section, this is where I usually write down like a weekly synopsis of what happened. So I've been using these notes pages to kind of write down what happens every week. And then this is pretty much June. I'm still writing the one for this week, but it's okay, we got time. And then for the pages I use in the back, I don't like the functional pages, so I write over them with whatever I want. This is my harvest yield by month. So I ended up just kind of breaking it down by season instead of by month. And for summer, we've already gotten a lot, which makes sense because most of the stuff I planted was in spring to early like February. Even January, I planted some stuff indoors. But we've been getting so many tomatoes and cucumbers, I, I can't keep up, we have so many. <laughs> And then in the back, I have the 365 checkoff, which I've been using to track how often I am outside for 20 minutes or more. I've been very consistent for over two months and am honestly kind of thinking I don't need to fill this out anymore unless I just want to look at a whole page full of colorful dots in which I can just color them all in at the end of the year. But there's that. So that's it for the garden planner. Now let's move on into my health Hobonichi weeks. So for my Health Hobonichi Weeks, I've still been keeping it in this Mina Frajonen Anemone cover. I did keep the kind of paper in here as well just because I wasn't feeling the need to take it out. And for the month of June, I not a lot of exciting stuff happened. I did end up working out a lot more than I did in May, so I'm really proud of me for that. And I didn't go to the gym as much, but I did more other workouts, so things like doing a lot of labor intensive things outside. I've been helping my mom with moving and things like that as well. Moving on into the monthly section. 
this is what it looks like. Again, just a little memory synopsis per day. This is the day I hit a thousand subscribers, so I wanted to make sure I documented that. And then at the bottom here on the sticker, I kind of give a little overview of what happened for the month based on how I feel about it. Like, was it a good month, a bad month, improving, not improving, whatever. And it was a good month, in case you were curious. For the weekly section, I ended up changing a few things over the month, but here is a Dutch Bros little tab sticker that I get on top of my coffee. And I tried to make my goals to get less coffee from shops and I didn't really succeed with that, but it's okay. Um, also my fasting time tracker down here did not stick around. So like meals, check-in, everything up here stayed the same but my fasting time changed this week when I started writing down my meal plan options and I really this helped us so much not to eat out as much it was really great also these stickers are from sticker guru and they're really cute and I love the little foiled sunflowers their little foil stickers are really really handy and then this is the current week we are on I went with kind of like a periwinkle lavender purple color and again the meal plan option here we didn't stick to it as much this week because we didn't get groceries but I'm, I still really like this section. Moving on into the notes pages in the back. This is the month of June for my tracker situation. I did a lot better in terms of like vegetables and I guess, I mean, we still had sugar almost every day, but the sugar we were eating was not in terms of like desserts. It was like in drinks so like coffee and soda so it's still sugar but I did a lot better in like eating less sweets I guess um we did eat out a lot more in the month of June but that's okay <laughs> sometimes it happens but towards the middle when we were meal planning we did really good and we didn't eat out hardly at all I did want to go ahead and show my notes in case you guys wanted to see kind of like what I write down so like I write down if I'm cramping really bad if I'm really fatigued if I have any kind of pain or sickness feeling so like headaches and then this day was a self-care day apparently and then this day I had really bad mental health and was feeling very depressed so I wanted to mark that down especially since my mood dropped a ton and I think that was just because it was around Father's Day and I've talked about this on my channel before. I lost my father a couple years ago and it's usually a really hard time for me and it doesn't surprise me at all that I had a really bad day at that time. Moving on into the workouts. This was, again, I only wrote down the two when I went to the gym, but I did work out more than this. So I think what I'm going to do is write down a little synopsis no matter what the workout is. So even if I didn't go to the gym, I'm still going to include it. I just put, we'll put, we'll put like no gym or like I did back day here, I'll put like heavy day outside or packing boxes or whatever, or yoga or whatever I did. As for running, I only ran once in the beginning of June because after that it rained pretty much every single day. And then after that it was 100 degrees outside. So yeah, I'm hoping we'll have some days where it's not so hot and we can take the dogs in July. Otherwise, I'll probably be running without the dogs in the morning or something like that, just so that way I can keep up with that. And I, re I really wanna reach my running goals. So there's that. As for my movie and show tracker, I hardly watched anything in June. All we did was watch movies. I started watching a show on the last day of June when it became available on Netflix. And I actually made the decision to cancel all of my streaming services for movies and shows. And I made this decision because one, I think I was spending way too much time on it and I have finally broken myself of the habit and I really enjoyed just watching movies every now and then with my boyfriend. And so I don't need to sit down and binge watch shows over and over again. And so without the temptation of having the show there, I won't, I won't be watching it, right? Like that's the theory behind it. Of course, you know, I can always resubscribe back to Netflix, Hulu, whatever, but I'm really ex excited to see how this challenge works for me without having the option to choose it since it will no longer be there and I'll have to choose something else. We'll see if I get addicted to YouTube videos or something. <laughs> As for my reading though, I read three books in June. I did super good. I was really happy with myself. And I actually ordered um, a couple of series. I ordered the Shadow and Bone series and the Outlander series. So if you've read either of those, let me know because I'm really excited. The Outlander series is huge. I didn't realize how many pages those books had and 
I'm excited to see how long it takes me to read them because the first book is over 800 pages. So <laughs> wish me luck. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for my health planner. Moving on into my Hobonichi cousin. I have been updating both my common planner and my cousin the same. So they're very similar, but I did do some different layouts in the common planner that I wanted to show you guys. So starting off with the year index pages or tracker pages, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is how half of like the third or the second quarter looks. I put my little memories down here. It's all filled out. I love how busy this is. I know that really probably hurts some people, but I love that this is totally filled out because it went from being totally blank to totally filled out and it's just, it's super satisfying. Anyways, moving on into the monthly section. This is what my spread ended up looking like. I used the Coffee Monsters Co. June kit. This is avocado toast themed, I believe. And I ended up using her Cafe Time Washi, which is super cute. I love it so much. It has gold foil and I just, yes, I'm, I'm loving the browns. Um, but yeah, so nothing super exciting here. It's just the monthly spread. <laughs> And then for the weeklies, this is where we left off in May. So I ended up doing like purple and yellow, yellow and purple. And I like how this kind of like cohesively worked together, but they're still kind of separate. This is when we got Hades, my new kitten. If you've seen my Instagram, I have a story highlight of all of his little photos. So feel free to check that out. This was the remnants of that Coffee Monsters Co. kit. And this is when I started meal prepping everything and meal planning, and it worked really good. Um, crazy thunderstorms watched lots of movies because it was just rain after rain after rain just super rain all the time this was a week I think I shared on a Facebook group maybe I went with the workout washi because we were gonna start working out in the morning again newsflash we didn't end up going I went I think a couple of days by myself but we didn't really do a whole lot then this week was my favorite week in the, this month. It was so much fun using this kit. It's the Just Keep Swimming Quit kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. I used a bright pink marker. I love the blues and the pinks and how it all coincides together. And I ended up using my Pilot Vanishing Point um, with the Pilot Yoroshizuku Tusukusa to do all the writing instead of my typical black Uni Jet Stream or my black uh, fountain pen. And it looks so good. So. I, I kind of kept with this, I think, yeah, I kept with it. So for this week, which is the current week we're on, I ended up switching back and forth between my sailor and my pilot vanishing point. So my sailor compass and then my pilot vanishing point. So it's like green, blue, green, blue. And I, I really love this pastel washi. And I think the orange that I chose does not work with it. And it throws the whole thing off for me. So I really liked how this turned out so far. If I could change that color, I would. But other than that, that's all the weeklies for my Hobonichi cousin. Moving on into the daily section. This was my first page. I'll do my monthly review later in here. I've already done it in my common planner and I'll show you guys there. This is a vellum from Sterling Inc. Um, as for journal pages, nothing super exciting. I ended up using a lot of fun new washies and stickers that I had or found, honestly, because I was going through my desk and cleaning it out. This day was the Emoti Madness release from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I had to pick up things that I missed last time because I use these every single day. So I'm fine with having a stash of them. This was my June Currently Inked. I really liked how my Desert Summer came across. Or I think, yeah, I think I did Desert Summer is what I called it. But um, all of these turned out really good. And I did a progress report if you're interested on that one. These two days, I was not feeling it, so I just did washi collages, and then, again, a couple of days, I just really wasn't feeling the journaling aspect of this. I would just, I didn't want to write. This was when I started a new kind of layout, so I wanted to do kind of like a timeline, like it has already pre-built into the page, and then do more of like my little astrology affirmation prayers on the other side. The only thing was, after doing this for a few days, I gave up journaling pretty much and that's why there's washi collage here big sticker here more washi here and then I finally was just like you know what I'm going back into my normal layout because I like having a space to journal and that's what I went with and I think I prefer this layout versus the time over here because I already do the time in the weeklies and I think that's what was challenging for me was doing it twice 
this was when um, I started using more fountain pens again. And then this was the TCMC annual pre-order for her washi tapes. This is everything that I got. Do not judge me. I love her store and have been a huge fan for a very long time. Um, this was Father's Day. This was the day that our sunflowers bloomed, actually. And I got a really good picture of the way they looked with the blue sky behind it. And I'm not kidding. They're massive. I talked about this, I think, in one of my Instagram posts. They're like 10 feet tall. Okay, so this was actually when I started the one fountain pen a day. So this is my Lamy Safari. This was my SD. This is my Kakuno. And I love how I themed each color to go with like stationary products that matched it. This was my um, Ferris Wheel Press Carousel. This is the Vanishing Point again. I had an ink blob down here. <laughs> but I loved doing this, it was so fun. And then it came the weekend, I gave up, <laughs> I just stopped. Um, so really good pages to start. And then the weekend I just kind of like, I guess got tired and didn't feel like writing anymore. Like I said, June was kind of a weird emotional month for me, but I was very productive. So yeah, this day I was at my mom's and then this day we had so many things happen. I just had to write bullet points because I just, I didn't feel like doing a whole entry on it. Then this day I had my Leela journals delivery and my washi tape shop delivery. And I didn't feel like writing anything on this day. So I just did an entire page of washi swatches. This is the washi tape shop uh, skinny washies. They look like this. And they're really nice for the little... Uh, grid spacing in the Hobonichi. So if you need, if you want 10% off, you can use Danielle 10 to get 10% off of these bad boys. And they're all foiled minus, I think a couple of them, but they look really good when they're all like, when you collage them, they look really nice. Then this day I was so sweaty because it was a hundred, this is our, like, our first hundred day. And then this day I reached a thousand subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> um, seriously, thank you. But I actually think it happened last night and I didn't have enough space. So I wanted to dedicate a whole page to it. But I still am really happy with my progress and y'all support. It was, it's been amazing. And then this was Friday, the last day of June. And I listened to this really good podcast from the Diary of a CEO. If you haven't seen his YouTube channel or listened to one of his podcasts, he talks to a bunch of really cool guests. And this episode highly recommend. It's with Dr. Mindy Pels. She talks about her book called uh, Fast Like a Girl and it talks about fasting and your menstruation and how everything kind of coincides with each other and I haven't read the book yet but I have it on my to be read list now for sure. Also you may have seen this in one of my stories. I ended up dipping this page on my coaster here and I had this was still wet and it ended up bleeding through and looks so cool now. And finally, we have my common planner. So I did a comparison between the Hobonichi Cousin and the common planner. If you're interested, I will link it in the cards in the description. This is the first page. Still have not decided what to do with these pages. And then for the quarterly pages, I actually did a video on this as well. And it looks so good. I'm so proud of this. You guys have no idea. This looks... This is exactly how I wanted this to look. And I ended up in the video talking about my process for this and then also setting up the next quarter with you guys too. So if you're interested with that, go watch that video. Then for the monthly section, this is what it looks like. It's the same as the cousin. Um, it didn't really change. It's just a different format. And then for the weekly section, I went with the same kind of color scheme here where I did yellow and purple as the same thing I did in the cousin. So I'm not really gonna talk about the things that happened. This was my rainbow week for Pride Month since June was Pride Month. And then I also did a video for this week where I only used two pens. I used a fine liner and a highlighter and it looked really good. I didn't go back in and fill it out like I should have because I was already filling it out my cousin, but this is really nice and quick and easy if you needed to do a spread like this. This was by far my favorite week in this planner because I used again one fountain pen every single day and I love how it looks kind of like a muted rainbow. This was so nice and I finally added stickers. I, I took the plunge and I added stickers to the book and it looks really really good and I was really happy with this. And then this is the current week we are on where I did kind of like a pastel rainbow and yellow color and I think it looks really nice too. Moving on into the tracker pages. Nothing super exciting, honestly, is going on here. 
Um, yeah, this was my running log. Again, didn't do a whole lot there. This is the workout log. Again, I only wrote the two things down, but I did do more. And then this was the show tracker. Again, same thing as the health home in each week, so I'm not gonna go too in depth with that. And then this was my reading log. Again, I read those three books. And then moving on into the daily pages, this was my June cover page. I went with kind of like a sunny clouds theme and I did my goals and review. And then one thing you'll notice as I flip through is we skip some days. <laughs> so starting Monday here, um, I got some new stamps for my tarot cards that I use and I'm not super in love with them, but they, they will work for what I want them to but we went to Tuesday and then Thursday, so missed some days, and then Thursday to Monday, then back to Tuesday, and then I think Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, Saturday. So one thing I love about this planner is I'm not forced to fill out a page like I am with the Hobonichi Cousin. So here I could skip days and I'm not worried about what happened in between because I can see the days that actually mattered to me when I actually wanted to write stuff down. These are Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, so I skipped another day there. These stickers are from Sticker Guru. This was the Sterling Ink um, reveal for her 2024 pre-order. And I wrote out every single possible option and then wrote stars next to the ones I was thinking about getting. I'm not going to share what I actually got just because that'll be a future video. So subscribe if you want to know what I got. <laughs> and then this was the weekend. I decided to lump them together because I didn't really have a whole lot to say. Again, missing some days, Monday to Wednesday. This is when I got all those new books that I was talking about, the Outlander series and the Shadow and Bone. And then this was the last day. These are from Leela Journals. They're so pretty. And this was that podcast I was talking about and it looks, mm, this page. I love how this page turned out. Anyways, so yeah, that's it for my common planner. Alrighty. So if you've made it this far in the video, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in more content from me, I do have an Instagram. I will leave my handle on the screen and I look forward to seeing you guys in a future video. So see ya in the next one. Bye.